Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steps Basic, and welcome back to Life is Strange. We are on chapter five, <clears throat> the final chapter. Things went badly for us last episode. I ain't gonna lie, pretty freaking badly. <sighs> so, <laughs> let's get into this and see where we're gonna go from here. But uh, all I gotta say is, I really hope that Mr. Jefferson is like some sort of an unwitting pawn in this, or some sort of a blackmail, because I kind of like the guy. I like artists. But even as such, he's doing something really bad. So let's get into this. Let's find out what's going on. And yeah. Blah. Blah. Previously on Life is Strange. Yes. Things happened. There was an explosion. There were dead whales. Ouch. What did you find? A potato. Dark room. Over and over. Creepy. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about our I know the Prescotts are somehow involved, I just don't know how yet. You know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh look. The wonder twin. We didn't get your dog killed. Ooh. You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. Indeed. You know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the He's first. somehow involved. He has to All be somehow involved. Filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Because she's it's dead. Over. Max, we have to find that spot. Yeah, we now. found Rachel. Rachel's dead. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, God. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh, God, Max, look. She's still there. Ah. No. Chloe. How? What the fuck? Ugh. What a twist! Here we go. Let's get into this game now. Life is strange. This story based on patience, patience, consequences, change to the past, present, choose wisely. I gotta say though, I'm glad I'm playing it like this because if I was playing it chapter by chapter with all the breaks in between, I'm not sure I'd be able to handle it very well. <laughs> oh, ah. Good morning, sunshine. Mm. Oh, I do not like this. You know, I like the setup we're in. <laughs> Square Enix. Do, 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 do. Let this be a lesson to you, though, if you go off investigating any sort of disappearance, make sure to keep in constant contact with at least one authority figure, i.e. the police. Let them know everywhere things, everywhere you've been and what everything you found. At least one person in authority. Mm. Although in this case, I don't think the police would help very much. Press kits and whatnot. Life is Strange, Episode 5, Polarized. <sighs> Good morning, Max. How's it going? The last thing we want is to be gone. Everybody who's counted on us. Kate and our family and Chloe's family. Now that Chloe's dead. How we're going to undo all this nonsense. Ah, oh, good morning. Anybody else in the room with me? No. Oh. What? Where? Oh. It's a dark room. 
Right, how am I supposed to get out of this? Ah. Uh. What are you looking at? Is anybody out there? Please help! <laughs> help! Somebody help me! <clears throat> These straps are hurt. Work on the legs. Of course. And right in front of me. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Oh shit. That's me. He took that shot last night. Oh boy. You got some good eyesight. I couldn't even see anything. It looked like just a great blocking. <gasps> One leg free. Finally, I'm free. Almost. This is one step. What am I supposed to do with the leg? Oh, I don't like this. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Same. This must be the same drug. God, I don't Shh, you just said that anything already. that happened. I just looked at that. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. This is ridiculous. All right, what am I supposed to do? Wait, oh no, that wasn't a line. My bad. Uh, focus on the, f oh, okay. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. All right, here we go. Can't remember it. Might as well go back and see it, right? This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Ooh. Look at that perfect face. I will destroy you, man. I will destroy you. Ugh. Hold that stare there. Stay still! Yeah, sure, just keep yelling at me. That's gonna work. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! Oh. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes. Weirdo. I still hate that word. Well, I still hate you, so I guess we're even. But you I love douche. The purity of your own image. Perv. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Screw your angles. I'll kick you right in the nads. Oh, please give me the chance. Give me the chance. Don't move. I will kick his ghibli bits so hard that they're lodged in his nostrils. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. Shut up. But he had an eye for shadows. Stop talking. And an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Along with Arcadia Bay. Are you trying to pin this on him? Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so ah, I should have figured. Was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. Too bad we didn't have any pictures from that night. Work, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Yeah, Chloe. Chloe. Say her name. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed her, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a he troubled is. history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. 
Scouts. He's trying to pin this all on the, the Prescotts. Or care. No, I promise. People will care when you die tonight, Max. Yeah. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. I do have a gift. <clears throat> More than you know. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Give me something to do. I'm tired of listening to this evil guy monologue. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Good for you. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. No. No. Give me something, anything, something. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! Hey. You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. Maybe. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Well, if you can control time. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. <sighs> well, that didn't work out. But now we spilt his medicine. Or his drug, I should say, not his medicine. Messed up his portfolio. Freaking monster. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Ugh. Well, we got some more photos to look at now. Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. All right. This might work. Please work. Come on, we got this. <sighs> Oh, oh, yeah. There we are. All these time jumps, man. Thank good from the heart. Getting some spectacular <clears throat> images here, Max. Good for you. I'm so yes. proud you get some. Oh, sure Dad would run the face. to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. She doesn't understand a lot of things. But I still wouldn't want her here. I choose you. Your Fuck you. Yeah. You're trying too hard. With your camera. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? <laughs> Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Well, I'm glad you're glad. Now tell me. I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white, to gray, and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models, my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath. <laughs> and this is your last session. I will destroy you. Oh, God, I will backs. destroy you. I'm Jefferson. so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed you Chloe. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. Oh, I'm gonna destroy you. Know, my pure, sweet Kate. Blah, blah, blah. Kate survived. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever. And she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. No. Who knows? Maybe <clears throat> Kate will visit soon and test her faith again. 
Ugh, we need to get the word out somehow. I don't even care if he kills me. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. This is true. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I, I know do that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. <laughs> you used you Nathan. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Well, manipulated is the same. Means used. It was easy to twist <laughs> around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. Yeah, well, you failed. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Gross. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? Well, I already How knew who it did. Could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim. Not your subject. Yeah, it's not a subject, it's a victim. Rachel Amber. <laughs> That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon. So I'm a bit like that myself. Many visual. Possibilities. We had a real connection. Ugh. Did you know Frank? Did you know she also had a connection with Frank? Let's be honest. She was doing the classic bad boy thing. She was over Frank before it began. He just didn't know. Anyway, Rachel was dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway. So look at this. Get out now. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good. Because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. Yeah. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is You're... Nathan now? Oh my God, this guy is making me angry. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. So you actually killed you Nathan. Get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You got rid of your you patsy. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. I didn't bring myself here. You brought me here. I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Oh. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. There's a certain appeal to it, yes. All right, what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. Alright. Um I think our session was a career high for me. Shut up. You're my diary, you... boop. You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Look at your selfies. Just look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Thanks. <laughs> Well, what do we got? Oh. What? When was this? Uh. Come on. Uh. There we go. 
Is this back in the class? I could this was the first one I took. Corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trip. Right back where I started this insane week. And right no back in the beginning. going to hurt Chloe ever again. portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you, you know please I do. tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Yo, mama. A real visionary. The Bavarian process. He was a real visionary, not a hypocrite. Uh... <laughs> What do you mean by that? I mean that he actually created something. He didn't just take pictures of models and pretend they were art. <laughs> I'm not sure I get the connection, but... Uh, yes, the Italian <laughs> process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max has clearly read more into them than I have. I guess the student has become the, the teacher. The deadline to submit a photo in the everyday time heroes to change time. San Francisco where you'll be fed by the First, Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Mofo. I have to warn David about Jefferson in the dark room. Can I get through that door though? Oh, cell phone. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. All right, what do we got? What do we got? I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Cool. Security. Not, oh, God, don't look at me like that. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. 555 -530 -8243. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. Yeah. And take Jefferson down fast. <laughs> you wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco and Jefferson. You'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? I'd say you are, dude. It doesn't matter what happens to me. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. <laughs> Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, we got your back, Kate. I don't know I'll what love to you, girl. Say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. <laughs> Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. I think I'm going to break my brain, though. But hey, we're going to save your life. Oh, Rachel. Oof. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, Victoria. We uh -huh. could have been friends. <laughs> this fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria, or excuses. It's true. You will not hurt Kate Marsh this time. Okay. What's the point of that? <laughs> Can I graffiti something? Okay. Oh. Smile. 
<laughs> Love you, boo. Incandescent. Hey, Victoria. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay? Now? Oh, I'm pissed. I'm super Not pissed, yo. Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know yeah. how easy it is to hurt somebody? Mm -hmm. To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? Mm -hmm. If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're mm -hmm. so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Yes, yes you do. Looks like you already did, Victoria. <laughs> then, I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. Get out of here. I'm now you, Mr. Jefferson. Enjoy that. Why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. At all? Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. Which picture did I give him, though? For any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or <laughs> guilty. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks for the photo. Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. <laughs> Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, lie. Mr. Jefferson. And the world melts back into the present. Although, we're going to go to the present. Or the present present. Okay. So, still took care of that. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Policeman Officer. That changed. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> what did I do to myself, though? Well, they found Rachel. Nice. Victory! I never had that picture. Nobody had that picture. <laughs> Was that the end of the game? I'm expecting a little bit more. <laughs> Seems very final, though. Whoa. Well, I'm not taped to a chair in a basement, so that's a good thing. I guess I'm going to L.A. Okay. <clears throat> You're okay, Max. You're I'm safe. still in the past. On a plane. Oh, that's the principal. I hope I did everything right this time. All right, let's go back to the present. Excuse me, principal. Local the teacher arrested, local the teacher. <laughs> Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. Yes. I fixed everything. Wowzer. Wowzer indeed. That's a good word. I like Wowzer. Wowzer is one of my favorite words, actually. Oh. Uh, look out there. It's so weird to be in between realities. 
Everything is out of focus and in the distance. So where am I going to end up when I come back to the present? I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Wow. Well, best part is when somebody else calls you an artist. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. The funny part is we didn't jump too far the back the first time we jumped. Jefferson and the Prescotts. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Who's Hot Dog Chloe Man? Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Before things went bad. Morning, Principal. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and that that guy? 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Come fly uh, with me. I don't me. think Let's so. Fly. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. <laughs> How did you sleep? <laughs> hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just How you day. fine, bro? <laughs> Fine, bros. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. Mm hmm So I hope you'll forgive me. Oh, no, no. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it. <laughs> That's a smart way of telling me to stop one. <laughs> we are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I, I do what I'm I can. not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco. But we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Yet. We might actually already be there. A few hours in the future. Oh, let's get to oh, let's get back to the present. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. You're breaking your brain, bruh. And burn that one. <laughs> so bright. The future's so bright, I need shades. Alright. Yeah, see, like I said, we weren't that far in the future. Uh, but there were so many other things that I did in the interim that... Uh, I wonder if I still did them. <laughs> That's a powerful picture. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Parent pictures, man. They always get me a little misty-eyed. <clears throat> nice dream catcher. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You Give caviar is gross. You I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I feel so weird. Like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. I know the feeling. This <laughs> week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. Oh. In fact. You're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. It's <laughs> one thing people don't realize. Lessons. You need to start. I'm going to eat up that calendar <clears throat> so you don't have to. Thank goodness. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. <laughs> you know, I won't always be here to take charge. Oh. Well, come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. All right. Well, the problem is, I don't know... Wow, sir, Max. You did it. Somehow. What's gonna happen I next? From the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... Strange. Ah, you missed the roll credits opportunity. There I am, along with all the other winners. Yeah, there's my name. I should say artists instead. 
Why don't we take a photo? Why don't we take a Why don't we take a photo of it, huh? Let's take a photo of it. That'd be cool. Hello, stranger. What is a hero? The Zeitgeist Gallery is proud to be a participant in the 2013 Everyday. I mean, you don't define hero. I was hoping you'd define hero. Hello, you. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. I'm not sure. How much is left? God, I hope it's not going to be two seconds in the next episode. I had that issue happen to me last week. But anyway. It can't. That, it just seems too perfect of an ending. Something's got to go wrong. <laughs> but anyway. Thank you guys so much for joining me for tonight's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to, of course, you can comment down below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can, when I can, if I can. You know all that jazz. And tune in next time as we hopefully have a bit more of the story to go. And until then, good night. <laughs>